guys, you got Coach Zoe here and this is gonna be your body weight, upper body hit workout. So no equipment needed and we're gonna hit all of our body day. So I hope you're ready to rock and roll. Plus this is burp, workout number nine of the burpee challenge. Let's get right into it. We'll get started off with some jumping jacks just to start our warm up. As always, please modify however you need to. All right, this is your workout. You know your body best, you know your limitations best. I'll offer suggestions along the way. All right, we have a lot of floor work today, so you might wanna grab a chair or a bench if you know you're gonna need to elevate. And since this is part of the burpee challenge, all right, we are gonna have some burpees built in for today. Not a million, <laughs> like some of the workouts have been. All right, but we still have some, because if you're following along with that burpee challenge, we gotta do some burpees today, okay? So, otherwise, we're gonna hit strength, we're gonna hit cardio, and we're gonna have some rest time built in. So, just so you know what to expect, that's how we're gonna get our high intensity interval training. A little bit of a slower pace, we're gonna ramp it up with our high intensity cardio, and then we'll take a little rest. All right, so, as always, like I said, please modify however you need to for your body. Since this is all body weight for the upper body, we're going to utilize the floor quite a bit. All right, so yes, we're gonna be on our bellies. Yes, we're gonna be in planks. So like I said, if you feel like you need a chair, go ahead and grab that. We can also work from the tabletop if you're not super strong in your planks. Don't avoid the hard exercises all right, where you are weak at because how are you supposed to get any better, right? You need to challenge yourself, you need to try to attack those more challenging movements and exercises, whether you like to or not, okay? So, like I said, just stick with me. Even if you're not great at planking, even if you're not great at burpees, push-ups, what have you, you'll still get in lots of work. So upper body, we're gonna hit shoulders, back, chest, Core, right? Our core is so much of our upper body anyway. Arms, right? But it's not just gonna be abs, it's going to be a low back, right? Lumbar, flats, traps, everything. So just keep in mind, we're gonna work hard today, but we're gonna mostly be on the floor. Again, unless you're gonna elevate yourself using a bench. Okay, but make sure it's sturdy and make sure you have a little bit of space to work with there. All right, so let's stay on those hands and knees now and just reach bird dog, opposite arm and leg. Just activate that back a little bit more. Whew. And then we're gonna get ready to rock and roll. So I hope you're feeling good. We're gonna work short, we're gonna work in short intervals, 20 seconds on, or 20 seconds straight, 20 seconds cardio, 20 seconds rest. We're gonna start on the floor actually with a hand release push up in three, two, one, let's begin. So we're gonna lift those hands up off the ground, press up with our push-up. You only have 20 seconds. Let's go, let's go. You don't have to rush your reps. This is the strength portion. If you are elevating yourself, all right, just do one hand with a lift. One hand with a lift. And right into our mountain climbers. Let's go, driving it quick, quick, quick. Strong with those knees. Good, push the floor away. Try to keep your shoulders directly over the wrist. Belly in tight, eyes ahead. And drive, 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 drive. Let's keep it quick in those feet. Come on. Almost there for three, two, and one. Rest. All right, you only have 20 seconds, so that's all you're gonna have with each rest break today. So have that water closed. Like I said, if you're gonna elevate yourself, do your push-up. All right, come up and then lift the hand. Push up, come up, lift the hand. All right, this one's better on the knees if you can. Let's go, back to our hand release push-up. We have four rounds, right, at each little circuit. More like a superset, I would call it. But four rounds. Good, when we lift those hands off the floor, activate your back. Good, and right away, mountain climbers, let's go. Drive, 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 keep it quick. As fast as you can, run it, run it, run it. Remember, this is the cardio part right now. Good, check in with your alignment. Belly in, hips low, eyes ahead. Almost there for three, two, one, and rest. All right, so you get the gist. 
That was two rounds already. It's gonna move fast, they're only minutes. Each circuit is only a minute long. So four times through, which I know sounds like a lot, but we gotta get those sets in. So five seconds, we're back to our hand release push-ups. This one's best on the knees if you need to modify, like so. That way you get that back activation. Focus on pulling those shoulder blades together behind you when you lift your hands off the floor. We're lifting those hands to get a little extension in after the push. Pull and push right away, mountain climbers, let's go. Driving in, driving in, driving in. Point those toes, keep your eyes ahead of you. Bellies in tight. A little bit faster, come on, step it up. Drive, 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 drive. Tuck those hips, three, two, one, and rest. All right, one more round. All right, and then we're gonna jump right into the next one. Remember, you only have 20 seconds to rest at a time, ever. No extended breaks. So, <laughs> we're gonna keep that intensity pretty high. We're sneaking in a quick workout. All right, let's go. Last round, last round. Hand release push-ups. Get those hands up. Drive up from the floor. Push and pull. Push and pull. All right, so we're gonna work in all planes of movement today. Forward and back, side to side, and rotation. Oh. Three, two, one, mountain climbers. Let's hit it hard. Last time, best time. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Eyes up, butts low. Drive it in, faster, faster, come on. You got 10 seconds left. Quick on those feet. Push that pace. Almost there for three, two, one, and rest. All right, next, we have a high plank, low plank. This one will be the best on, on your knees if you need to modify. All right, you can do it on a bench. I find it's a, it feels a little less secure. So we'll be low on our forearms, up high on our hands, either from the knees or from a plank. In three, two, one, let's go. This is our strength move. Think about holding a glass of water up on your low back. You don't want it to spill. Good. Try to plant those palms shoulder width. Just another little extra credit. In three, two, one, getting that low plank. And now we're gonna hop it apart and together. You can either step with a tap or hop. Keep those hips low, belly in. It's just 20 seconds for each set of work. Let's go, pump it up. A little faster, soft knees, soft ankles, and rest. Woo, all right. Round number one done. Get ready for rounds two through four. All right, so high and low. I know we just did all those push-ups. It feels like we're doing push-ups again. You're right. <laughs> That's why I did it. So keep those hips low. I want those elbows and wrists under the shoulders. Three, two, one, let's do it. Good. Yeah, you came to Coach Zoe's workout because you wanted a hard workout, and that's what we're gonna do. I don't care what level you're at, it doesn't matter because you can adjust the move and you can adjust your pace and still challenge yourself. Three, two, one, low plank with the jacks. Let's go. Hopping or stepping those feet apart and together. Yeah, try to look up, look at those hands. Press your palms down, shoulder width apart. Yeah. I know it's burning in the delts. Keep going, three, two, and one rest. All right, halfway. We got two rounds to go. How about maybe I'll switch? That way it's kind of like a little marker so you know how many rounds we got left. Plus maybe that'll help me too. Get ready, <laughs> deep breaths in three, two, one, let's go back to it. High and low, high and low. Again, remember that glass of water on your low back. You don't want it to spill. You wanna keep it stable, keep it steady. Keep those eyes ahead. Three, two, one, in your low plank, let's go, jack it out. In and out, in and out. Eyes up, hips low, no cheating. Come on. Keep yourself honest, you got 10 seconds left. I know it's burning, just breathe through it. You're all right, you're all right. It's all in your head. Three, two, and one, rest. 
I like to tell myself when you feel that muscle burn, right? It's not a bad pain, right? You know, it's just that that whining in your body. Okay, good pain, not a bad pain. You can push through it, right? You know if something's gonna pull or give out. So listen close. Let's go, but push yourself high and low. Good, excellent job, you guys. Beautiful work. Bellies are in tight. Trying to keep those hips stable and flush to the ground. Three, two, one. Low plank with the jacks. Good, eyes up, eyes up. I know it's tough. Just stay with it, stay strong. Almost there. You got it five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, next move, two moves. This is where our burpees are gonna come in. So we have a low plank hip dip. So you'll be in a low plank. All right, even if it's on your knees, you're gonna drop your hand, drop your hips down side to side. Boom. All right. Then we have a half burpee. Let's begin, low plank, hip dip. So rock those hips side to side. Slow control. This is our strength. Slow and controlled. If this feels easy, all right, that's good. Good, all right, on your hands, lower your chest down, and then half or step up to your hands. Chest down, half or step up. Just a half burpee, we're not standing. It's a little more upper body this way. Two, one, and rest. So if it feels easy to do those hip dips, good. That means your obliques are pretty strong. All right, four months postpartum, I can feel. It's a lot of work. So if you feel like it's really challenging, that's okay. That means you're doing it right. Here for three, two, one. Let's go back to start hip dips. Come on. In that low plank, if it's too hard to hold the low plank, your shoulders are burning out, you can get on your hands. Get as low as you can, but where you can still bring it back up. Three, two, one. Let's go half burpee, so chest to floor. Hop or step those feet up. Good, really pushing that floor away, elbows tight to the body. Good, deep breaths. Push that pace, keep it quick, come on. Cardio, cardio, and rest. All right, two rounds down, then we switch sides. So like I said, you guys, hit, right? Where's your heart rate at? Mine's getting up there, all right? We don't need to be jumping around, although yes, I know we are a little bit, but just to get that heart rate up. Let's go, hip dips on your forearms and your plank. Good. Good, and just focus on your breath work. Keep those hips stable. Try not to lift them up really high in the middle. Keep them low. And right away, half burpees, let's go. Chest to floor and up. Again, even if you're stepping, boom, 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 boom. You can keep it quick. One, two, three, four. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, you guys, one more round here, and then we're done. What's nice about this, we knock out our rounds, we're not revisiting anything. Although, we do have one more set of full burpees at the end. All right, get ready, deep breaths. We got five seconds, so we're finishing. Last round here. Three, two, one, let's go hip dips. Remember, keep those hips low. After this round, you'll be halfway through the workout. Yeah. It's moving quick, isn't it? Get a nice high intensity workout in. And right away, burpees, halfway. Not to a stand. Good. Just to this little bear crawl position. Good, push that pace, come on. Step it up. Three, two, one, and rest. 
Okay, next two moves. We're gonna lay on our belly, so it's gonna feel like a little bit of a cardio break here. Lay on your belly. You're gonna reach out in front of you, pull your chest off the ground, elbows to the back pockets. Lat pull downs, right? Boom. Then we'll have plank V jumps. So out to the left, down, out to the right. Let's go with our pull downs right away. Boom. Boom. Chest down, chest up. Chest down, chest up. Get your chest as high off the floor as you can. Try to keep those feet on the ground. Good, and plank jumps. If you're stepping, that's fine. You're still outlining a V right here. Otherwise, we're jumping. Down, up, down, up. I want you to focus on pushing that floor away, pulling your belly in for a tight core. You're floating. And rest. So even though the legs are, are the ones that are moving, all right, this isometric push and hold is gonna be a lot of work, all right, for the upper body and for your core. So make sure you're focused on that push in the ground. All right, back on your bellies. Getting started in three, two, one. Let's go. Elbows into the back pockets. Boom. Woo. Boom. Good, chest high, eyes ahead. Three, two, one. Let's go. Plank jumps. V jumps, I should say. Good. Down and up. Again, stepping or hopping. But either way, you're focused on this push, right? Even if I'm stepping, I'm pushing away. Rest. All right. Two down, two to go. I'm switching sides just for a little timetable for us. Woo! You're doing excellent, you guys. I know you're starting to feel a little weak, a little fatigued up top, but you gotta stay with it. All right? You gotta stay with it. In three, two, one, let's go. Pull it up, chest off that ground. Boom. Elbows into the back pockets. Boom. Eyes ahead of you. Good. Three, two, and one, V jumps. Let's go. Up and an angle down to the center. Push that floor away. Try to float. See how I'm floating? It's a soft landing. Not so much the speed. And rest. As it is the intensity of the work. All right. Yes, I'm working quickly. So I'm really focused on the big push. All right, guys. Last time here. And then we're moving on. We'll have another belly exercise. And then an ab-focused exercise. So. No planks in the next round. In three, two, one. Let's go. Last round, best round. Chest high, elbows in. Don't just go through the motion. Really think about putting your elbows into the back pockets. You should feel that engagement at the bottom of your lats. Boom. Boom. Good. And V jumps. Let's go. Again, float through your V. Open your fingers up wide. Try to hover over those hands. All right, we're getting core work in as we twist and rest. Woo! All right, next two moves. We're on our bellies. You're gonna lift right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. So it's like a bird dog, but from the belly, okay? Now you can go a little faster but it's a strength move, so focus. Three, then we're gonna flip over for bicycles. Let's go. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Deep breaths here. It's a little harder. Right, you're laying on your lungs. <laughs> Good, eyes ahead. Try not to push on the floor. Good, right away to your belt, yeah. Eyes up, boom. Elbow to opposite knee, hardest version. Everything floats, boom. All right, easiest version. Feet on the floor, and touch. Boom. But elbow to opposite knee with a twist. And rest. 
All right. So those bicycles, remember, those are a cardio. I went a little slower just for demonstration sake, but try to knock those out. Keep it quick. Make sure you engage with that twist, but a little bit of a faster speed. Okay? So like I said, boom, you can touch those feet to the floor. If you want a really intense version, can't speed it up. Let's go, swimmers. Just remember, if you float in the air with those bicycles, you might slow down a little bit. So just adjust to a level that helps you keep the intensity high. Good. Three, two, one, flip it over right away. Bicycles, elbow to opposite knee. Good, hard twist, hard twist and crunch. Boom. This can be done standing. If you're a little earlier postpartum, this doesn't feel good, and rest. Or you could just do like the knee press and stand it down with the upper hole. Okay. All right, you guys. Oh, that's halfway. Let me flip sides. Get ready. Back to our swimmers in three, two, one. Begin. Opposite. So again, try not to push with the grounded hand. Just keep a light touch. Focus on the lift. And I want you to get that thigh off the ground too, because that's going to really call in the low back. Two, one, right away. Bicycles, let's go. Good, you got it. Keep going, keep going, come on. Breathe out as you twist, as you crunch. Drive that knee in and rest. All right, last round here. Last round for both moves. So get ready. Deep breaths. It's kind of like a little bit of a break because our last circuit is quite intense. You're welcome. So something that makes you work but gives your heart a little break. In three, two, one. Let's go back to our swimmers. Boom. Good. Remember strength, focus on that engagement, that activation, technique. Three, two, one, flip it over, bicycles, let's go. Good. Really strong twist through that core. You got it. Let's go, come on, push it a little harder. Show me you're working for it. Two, and rest. Good, all right. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, can you tell that I'm from the Midwest? Okay, so next we have bird dog. So novice option, we're on our hands and knees. You want a little harder, you can keep those knees off the ground. And if you want it the hardest, stay in your plank. Let's begin. Yes, I do realize this is very much like the swimmer, but we're adding that push element now. And then our cardio move is gonna be full-blown burpees. Again, this is our strength. Two, one, drop it down, let's go. All the way up, stay quick. I want you to push these burpees really hard. Come on. What are you working for today? Let's go. You're almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, first round down. We have three more of those, and then you are done. So get ready. And I haven't touched on it, but obviously, right, if you're using the bench, same stuff. No, no really way to modify. Three, two, one, let's go. Bird dogs, opposite arm and leg. Why is it called that? I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> we can call it a two post stability plane. But it's a little more of a mouthful. Burpees! Let's go! Turn it up, come on! What are you working for? No dilly dally, no slacking off. I'm watching you. Oh yeah! Come on! Stay with me here. Don't waste your time. Here for three, two, one, and rest. 
Whew. Okay. What I tell myself, when you're really having a hard time, you're so close to the end, you just want to quit, or you want to slack off because you think I made it this far, I'm tired, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move. No, you made it this far. You can do more than move. You can give me that last little bit of your gas tank. Let's go, bird dogs. We got two rounds left, you guys. There's light at the end of the tunnel. We're almost there. Try to focus on stabilizing. Think about that glass of water. Belly in. Three, two, one, let's go. Burpees. Good, you got it. You got it. Whew. Stay strong, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, you guys, last round, best round. All you've got for the day. I wanna see it. I wanna hear you struggle. I don't care if you gotta make noise and yell and whine. All right, let's just get this work done. 40 seconds of work, that's all I need. Let's do it! Good, big reach. Big long reach. Boom. Belly's in. Boom. Good. Keep those eyes up. Get ready to turn it up and finish strong for these burpees. In three, two, one. Let's go. Last 20 seconds of the day. All you got, my friends. Come on. How quick can you go? How many reps can you get in? Come on, push it a little faster. If I can do it, you can do it. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Quick drink of water if you need it. Let's shake it out. Get on your feet. Get off of the ground. Get off of your bum. No sitting. Yeah. Who is this chick? Listen, you don't show your opponent that you're tired. You can stand. You can do it. Whew. Just shake it out. The shoulders tired. Let's do a couple windmills. Oh, so much work just to do that. Deep breaths. Good. Excellent job. Beautiful work. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Let's just uh, lean forward here, real slow. Do a hinge. Hold and roll it up. Give that spine a little break. Hinge. Hold and roll. Whew, feel my back so tight. Hinge, so one more. Hold and roll. Good. And let's just pretend like we're doing some curls. Work out those arms a little. Good, and open the door. Open that chest, look up, big, big, big stretch, and close the door, hug yourself. Big, big stretch for the back. One more, up, up, up and close the door, fold. Oh. All right, you guys, that is it for today. You made it. Workout number nine of the Burpee Challenge, if you're following along. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for joining. Subscribe, all right, turn on your notifications. That way, every time I post a workout, you'll be notified, and you can join me. And please make a comment, let me know. Uh, I like this workout, but I didn't like the intervals, or I would love if this exercise was built in, or maybe whatever you guys want to see more of, right? I know I try to give a wide variety, but if there's something you're not seeing, or you're not seeing it often enough as you'd like, let me know, all right? I want to give the people what they want. Until next time, stay strong, stay tough.